Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Fall 4 mods. This week we got, um, we got some weird mods. Let's, let's, let's check them out. Henry Repeating Rifle by D Magnus and 500 SLR. Starting us off is this beautiful classic rifle. Custom sound effects and a ton of mods to go along with it. Standard mods are 9 receivers, 4 barrels, 8 stocks, and a suppressor. There's also an option for weapon color glow, 9 front sights, 4 grip choice of wood, ebony, or none. 16 rear sights, 6 caliber options, and 4 materials, standard, black, case hardened, and silver. And as you can see here, it packs a mighty punch. Cross Halo by Nero. This adds two head objects for you to use, a halo and demon horns. The halo is automatically added to your inventory when you start up Fallout, and can be created at a chemistry bench and edited at an armor bench. Editing the halo at an armor bench will allow you to turn it into the horns. The halo gives plus 10 stim pack healing, while the horns give plus 5 damage to humans, and some little embers as well. Ooh. Or you could just go all out and wear them both. Hey, look at that. I'm doing them both. I'm good and bad. It's like there's a grayscale of evil. And good. You can also choose to have the horns or halo glow when you use your Pip-Boy, or not if you don't want the extra light. Haven Trooper Frog's Armor Pack, and Stalker Anna Armor Pack by Rage. So this is two armor packs that I kind of put together because they're both from Rage. Haven Trooper Frog's is from Metal Gear Solid, and starts off with the standard outfit here. And then you've also got pieces that you can put on just about every part of your body. You got knives, grenades, pouches, gas masks, and more. And I'm just going to go through these. This is for both the mods. This is all the extra stuff that you can uh, put on you. And it is ridiculous. There is so much stuff here. So this goes for the stalker armor as well. You start out with this, the base object. And then you can add all the extras for added protection or just looks. These parts can be upgraded at an armor workbench and only work with female characters. Dog meat boots by Nader. A boots, a boots, a bootsity boots. Look at all, all these boots. Mmm. 12 boots in all with 3 unique variants of Kellogg's Dog Boots, Corset Dog Boots, and Grognak Dog Boots. All are craftable and upgradable, and just, just look at them. Ah oh man, dog meat. You were, you're so happy, dog meat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he blew that dog's head off. Oh my god. Dog Meat Hellhound Armor by NCR Ranger 5X. And to go along with those shoes, we've got a spooky costume for dog meat that turns him into a horrifying hellhound from The Witcher. Basically, you apply this like any other armor, just put it on dog meat, and then hit equip, and there you go. He looks horrifying. <laughs> Minuteman HQ, The Museum of Freedom Reborn, by The Final Render. The Minutemen have finally taken over that old museum, and have given it some new life, everyone. This cleans up the old areas such as the history scenes, but also adds clean walls and new functionality to the upper floors. Plus they get rid of that very giant hole in the first floor. That's, that's gone now. You can walk up the stairs. This includes a movie theater with chairs and couches, a gift shop with collectibles and some gigantic games, a classroom for kids to get to learning, this little setup with the British soldiers and their little cannons, a cleaned up wall, and a new section that shows off what the modern military was like. On the top floor is where all the Minutemen do their history homework. Then you've got a sleeping room for sleeping. A bathroom. And the room where you found good old Gravy himself. You can also now build in the museum, so anything you don't like, just throw it in the trash. Weird mod of the week! Coco Bandicoot, playable character by Gage Storm. Coco's moved away from Insanity Island and to the probably much, much colder lands of the Commonwealth. You can change your skin color to Coco or Evil Coco, and you do that through the Looks menu mod, and you can construct both faces for Coco and Evil Coco at a chemistry station. Plus, it works for both male and female players, so you can put it on whatever you want, except for dog meat. Can't put it on dog meat, sorry. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. Hope you enjoyed. All right. Dog meat's just gonna walk over there. Okay, cool. You know, we were switching it up this week, so, like, the card actually goes in the correct area, but I guess you're just gonna walk all over there. Alright, now this is great dog meat. 
I'm dressed up like a giant animal lady, and you're just prancing around your big, your big clown boots. All right, you know what? Yeah, get out of here. He always comes back. Away! 